Hey everybody, Prof Gordon here from Exam Success. This is the first of three videos that are gonna connect the dots on the level two derivatives for pricing and valuing interest rate swaps. Once you got this concept down, it'll carry over to the other type of swaps as well. These are the extra marks that I think that you can pick up that other candidates are ignoring. So let's jump right into it. We're gonna talk about pricing. So first we're gonna map this over from bonds. We all know that the price of a bond is equal to the present value of the coupons plus the present value of the par. In terms of the swaps, the language is the price, well, we're gonna talk about this at par, is equal to the present value of not the coupons, but the fixed rate on the swap. So this fixed rate is going to be discounted and we're not going to do it at one over one plus the yield to maturity like we do for a bond. Some math genius figured out we'll use discount rates and we'll take the sum of these discount rates. I don't know why they use symbol B or DF. It doesn't matter. Sum of the discount rates times the fixed rate on the swap times the appropriate time period N over 360. That's the present value of the uh, coupon payments or the fixed rate payments. And now for the par, we'll take $1 of notional and we'll bring this back uh, using the discount rate that is the last discount rate in the term structure. If you don't know what that means, like I said, stay tuned for the other videos and you'll see it, the example. Now let's turn this right into the fixed rate on the swap. We want to know, we want to know what the price is. The price of a swap is the fixed rate. So the fixed rate on the swap is equal to one minus the last discounting rate over the sum of the discounting rates. There it is, this is what we need to use on the exam. If you're going into the exam and you don't know how to use this formula, I think you're in big trouble, you're gonna give up the marks. Okay, we'll end it here. Go on to the next video.